uh, the next book that I have in line uh, is by David Darst, the little book that saves your assets. Now, when it comes to investing, typically you can have uh, riskier investments, stocks, uh, that typically go up more in value, but they can lose everything as well. On the flip side, you have David Darst and bonds. Now, he wrote a book, I can't remember exactly what year, it might have been around 1975, uh, he wrote the, the big, or the complete bond book. I am not seeing it in my library right now, but believe me, he wrote a book on bonds that's about that thick. It's a little bit dry. Bonds are a little bit more difficult to understand, but I think David Darst does a very good job of it. He's been around for a long time. A lot of other authors, authors, excuse me, talk about uh, David Darst, and he makes one great uh, uh, <laughs> kind of recommendation in this book. Um, but he talks about a guy, uh, David Swenson, with an E N. Uh, David Swenson is pretty phenomenal. Uh, but so is David Darst, been around for a long time, will help you to under understand the safer side of investment. So when it comes to designing a portfolio, you always have to decide how much should I have in stocks, the riskier but potentially higher growth, and how much should I have in bonds, and how safe should those bonds be. And there's quite a few levels of safety, and you can learn all about that uh, in David Darst's book. Very good one. Here it is, The Complete Bond Book by David Darst. And uh, David Darst's book was copyrighted 1975. I was accurate on that. David Darst, if you want to go into the weeds with bonds.